Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. I'm Lauren Jameson. We're here live at Ibel Studios on 6th Street in A, Texas. Good to be back. This episode of The Juicy, I've got a wonderful guest. She too had this brilliant idea that we would move to Austin, Texas for the land of opportunity when we could not perform comedy in California. Oh, the constraints. But now we're back in the land of the living and the free reinstated liberties and uh, she is the co-host of the spoil of the beans spoil the beans podcast it's really good and she's also a comedian and she's here with me now please let me introduce sam lee lopez yep oh wow sammy thank lee you. lopez thank you so much hi I'm so happy to be here <laughs> i wish i didn't tell you my middle name i said it's cute it sounds so weird with sam i want to call you sammy not... joe though oh sammy joe low oh Sammy Lee Lopez. It just rolls Every, off the tongue. Everything you're saying really hurts my soul. Why? I don't know. Hey, at least you're a lucky person who has a middle name. Some people- You don't have one? No, of course I do. What's yours? My parents, I think, love me a little bit. They gave me one. L uh, it's Lynn. Do you think it's that they love you or they just couldn't decide on the first name so they compromise? Uh, well, Lynn was my mother's middle name and it was also my grandmother's middle name. It's very popular in the South. Lynn's, Anne's, Lynn's. Elizabeth. Lynn's and Ann's the most, though. Mm. But uh, some people don't have a middle name. Some people don't. I don't know why I think that's sad for some I don't know some why I think that's sad either. What if their first name's just so good? That's like, true. I don't feel like Beyonce needs a middle name. She might have one, but she doesn't need one. Yeah, she's a one-namer. She doesn't even need a last name, obviously. Like Eliza Schlesinger is just Eliza now because her last name is such a, an abomination. Sorry, Eliza, but... It is weird because it's it, it's crazy also that she can even be Eliza because it's like there would be a time where Eliza Minnelli is just so famous that that's she's Eliza the one. Minnelli. Yeah, but that's what I always think in my mind is it's Eliza. And Eliza is usually I think E L I Z A. She's I. She's I. Just ill. Ill Eliza. Super ill. Yes. Yeah, so. she's gone one name. Christina P. Well, that's a tough last name to say. I still I forget it every time. Piatetsky. Sebastian's is pretty uh, la one name. Maniscalco? Yeah, people don't say his last name. I can say that one. Yeah. What is Christina P's? Piatetsky. No, it's Christina Pizitsky. Pizitsky. Right? Is she G Polish? She's She's, she's great. She talks about it. I should know. I listen to her podcast. Oh, you're a terrible listener. I don't really listen to any podcasts like religiously, but I listen to all of their clips. Well, and that's as good as I can get. <laughs> you and Derek remind me of them. Oh, that's of Tommy, really nice. Of Tommy and Christina. Well, they seem to have a very successful relationship, so I- uh, So do you. No, thank you. I admire it immensely. Seem. Yes, I mean, we don't Never. know what happens behind closed doors. Maybe Never we'll share know. about I some of that. I beat him, actually. You do? Yeah, people think that it's the other way around, but- When did these I beatings take care. place? When I started uh, lifting, I was like, I gotta use this for something. And you're swimmers, too. Yeah. I was swim beat him with a pool noodle. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that's it got a little sexual. That's kinky. I'm sorry. That's what those pool noodles are for. Yeah, have you never been hit with a pool noodle before? They slap. It's man. awful. <laughs> they do. It's like a wet towel kind of. It seems like something like old like Republican parents that talk about how they beat their kids. They'd be like, I always use the pool noodle because it never leaves. Oh a no, mark. dude. <laughs> Republic. They use the belt. I know, but you know, sometimes they get creative. Well, yeah, anything that's handy. My grandmother had a paddle that hung in the kitchen. Ah, uh, right dude, there. paddles, classic. Yeah, I don't think she ever took that to me. Have you ever been You've slapped? Never been paddled? Paddled? No. I've never been paddled. I've been wooden spooned. <laughs> big wooden spoon. Big or small? The, the big small spoon. <laughs> I got forked up real good. Oh my Gotta god! That sounds very aggressive. <laughs> Slice of heaven right oh, here. Gross. I'm coming off. I'm coming off the Alice. It was a two night show last night where I literally I'm method acting any of my anger and my upset comes through the Queen of Hearts role where I just haze and ambush and just I slap people around in there. I have a fan. So do you all were you the Queen of Hearts all last night? So it's a two role thing. I really like the ca the character change. Mm -hmm. Some the March hair. Which is okay, and then that's I turn the into one, the queen. That's the like the rabbit she follows. So there's the white rabbit, and then there's a March hare. Where's the March hare? A hare is a different kind of rabbit. 
Is it in the movie or is it just in the book? Yeah, it is in the movie. Yes, the March Hare is by the Mad Hatter's side. He talks like this. He's very like British, but like creepy British. Okay. Kind of like that. But okay. then again, so is Johnny Depp. Obviously a bit creepy. Uh, so I open up, I do some trivia with the show just to get people in the know. Because like, people come in and they don't even know what they bought tickets to. Yeah, I, can't, I could not. When you told me you were doing this, I was like, I don't really understand what this is. And people I slowly. <laughs> I didn't like, even know what I was signing glimpses up for. In, like, this is a lot. Uh, it is. It's you're complicated. like, come. I'm like, I'm a little afraid. <laughs> it's it's intimidating a bit when I first learned it. And I said, this sounds like a lot of work. And to get people, it's like adults or kindergartners, to get them to understand that you are not just going to sit in here and enjoy this room and take pictures for Instagram. It's interactive, bitch. You better get up. You it like think scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. You're finding things. You're reading stuff, and some people they will leave. They're no, fifty dollar really. tickets. They will just like this isn't what I thought it was gonna be. We didn't read the reviews. We didn't read the fine print. We didn't know we had to do things in here. I okay. Said, yeah. Like if you want to drink, you have to solve some riddles and stuff. So, oh yeah. really? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Most people really enjoy it. I mean, they really do. We had great audiences last night. Uh, walked a couple. There was a group, a two, uh, two women there. I don't know if they were on a date, but they were very flustered, and they just wanted to keep talking, which we have happen a lot of the time. But I either have a fan in my How's hand or a mallet. It's, it advertises an interactive, immersive experience where you're coming and you're making your, your interacting with the drinks and you're finding. It's advertised as a scavenger hunt. Mm hmm. OK, so they don't expect you to come in and you said you have a mallet and well, I have like those, cro you know, croquet mallets like the yeah. flamingos with the so it's just fun props to play with. So we use everything in the room. So last night, actually, last night I was the Mad Hatter. I was the Mad Hatter last night. That sounds fun. It is. It's zany. It's totally fun. It's a lot more speaking, but I don't get to the queen is my role to heckle the customers, mm -hmm. the audience members really mess with them. And when you're protected behind a British accent, when you're just talking like this, you could say whatever you want. They really have it so very lucky. I mean, I don't, cause you can be so crass and disgusting and awful, but when you're speaking so eloquently like that and are to get away with murder. It's so funny, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like gonna say the N word or something and it's totally fine, you know, just no problem. Do you think they're allowed to say it because they're British? Maybe, they probably do. Nah. So there was a lady in there who was from New Zealand last night. She was trying to call me out on my accent. I'm like, you're not even British. No, Kiwis have the weirdest accents. They're very haughty. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know too many Kiwis, but. They're like uptight Australians. Uptight Australians. That's how I describe it. Have you them. ever been there? Yeah, I lived there for like seven months. Really? Yeah. In Oz? Uh, no, I lived in Australia for a year. And then my visa was up. I didn't have enough money to fly home. So oh I went to New Zealand and got a job there. So how are you able to work in New Zealand without? I could get a new visa for New Zealand because it's a separate country. And you just went on your own. You just woke up one morning and said, I'm going to go to the land down under. Kind of. I mean, it was more like, oh, oh, I'm 24. What am I doing with my life? Uh, who am I? Were you in Maryland at the time? Yeah. Maryland sucks. Maryland Get me out sucks. of America. Oh, I want to go as far away as possible. I'm going to go to Australia. It's literally on the other side of the country. That's a far flight. Of the country. Of the world. Of the world. <laughs> of the globe. Yes. Yeah, but that's kind of was my attitude. Across a few ponds. What part of Oz did you live in? Uh, the first. So I went as a nanny. And the first family. Au pair. Yes. And au pair. Au pair. Yes. Sexy. So sexy. That's a little more Aussie. Sexy, mate. Oh, gross. <laughs> Focus. So weird. Focus, Samantha. Focus. It's okay. So I, uh, the first family lived in the middle of nowhere. They were about like five hours outside of Sydney. Okay. That seems far from civilization. But there was a city near them called Tamworth that <laughs> was like about an hour away. <laughs> Sounds like tapeworm. I don't. Yeah. It was a terrible place. It was just. Tamworth? Have you ever been. Um, in, in in the valley of LA, like like oh, Burbank sure. area. Oh yeah. Uh, in the middle of the summer. No, no, no. In the fall when it's like, like really Glendale. Hot. Yes. It felt like that there all the time. 
But no thanks. Yeah, it was bad. That makes me think of Clueless. The party's out in the valley. It takes an hour to get there. The cops usually break it up by then. Yeah, I lived in the valley for like four years. That always cracks me up in LA, that part where the dad's mad. And he's like, everywhere in LA it takes 20 minutes. It's true. That's mm -hmm. not true. And I mean, it's going by though. sky? Yeah. Uh, that was in the 90s. Maybe in the 90s it was true. Maybe? No. No. Nah. Doubtful. Maybe. Such a good movie. They don't make them. I'm Amy Heckerling. That's who made that movie? Yes. She also did Chasing Amy, I want to say. Oh, I feel oh, like we're doing no, a little. Chasing Amy was uh, the uh, brothers. No, it's, um, you know, uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Oh, yes. Kevin Scott. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. Duh. Smith? Kevin Smith. Yeah. Wonderful. Silent I love Jay Bob and Silent himself. Bob. Yeah. I love it. When I was living in LA, I didn't have access to a washer dryer. All the amenities you give up to live in Los Angeles, like I had in Dallas at the time. And so I go to those washeterias and there was yeah. one on Manhattan Beach Boulevard near like Hawthorne, where the Beach Boys are from. And I felt like Jay and Silent Bob outside the Speedy Mart when I would just be waiting for my laundry. And there was a bar called The Hangar next door, the Speedy Mart, the washeteria. And I would just hang out right there, have a chair, just like talk to people in my boom box, do the tuck. You get a, bon a boom you know? box and the tuck? You did the whole thing? A little chapstick. Oh my God. Just buffalo build it, you know? I fuck me. <laughs> I haven't seen any of those movies in so long. Maybe that's in Clerks. That's in Clerks. That's in the second Clerks, I'm pretty sure. Where are those guys? What are they doing? I feel like they were all just like, we made enough money. We're going to chill now. I don't know what they did all through the pandemic. They didn't have a stroke of genius and come out with something. That would have been the time. Well, um, Kevin Smith like does stuff. He was still like writing. I think he on the sides. Like speaks. I think he does think stand he up. What? I want to say maybe not like stand up in the traditional sense, but he might go and like have clubs for weekends and people come out here. He could just have a mute show and people would laugh. Yeah, it seems like something that people would. That's so great. But I think it's more, you know, like, hey, it's me. This is who I am and this is my life. I feel like if you were seeing, um, what's his face? Um, who's the guy from Jackass that like staples himself? Uh, Wee Man? No, 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 no. Um, I don't know anyone besides Wee Man and Johnny Knoxville. No, the other one. I haven't the, watched the, the new movie. No, the original, like one of the, the guy. Oh, damn. Oh. You know, you know, you know. I could see his face you right see now. His face. He he has his face tattooed to himself. Didn't my Did you not watch Jackass? I didn't really a lot. I'm kind okay. of one of those people that's I didn't do a lot name? of Seinfeld, didn't do friends. You didn't watch Seinfeld? I was not I couldn't no handle friends? the laugh track. The sitcom what? shit, that's all man. Sitcoms. So you you just don't watch any sitcoms. I was too busy trying to watch things that I wasn't allowed to watch. What was like nine oh two one oh. 90210. Oh, definitely porn. We had the Playboy channel. I definitely you stumbled across it. We did. It was channel what like 402. Family? It came with the package. They must have bought it for a reason. It was it was after school special, School of Cock. What? School of Rock. So this is the stuff that you were watching instead of watching what well, the when rest no one of the home. I was curious. <laughs> And I knew that channel by heart. Like, nobody so the, you were watching porn. You were watching what was? What did you say before? Nine hundred two one zero. Nine hundred two one zero. Okay, yep. those are pretty much the same things. Yeah, porn and nine hundred two one zero. I loved that show. It was it was uh, edgy. Edgy. I never watched nine hundred two. I wasn't allowed to watch it, so I would sneak it somehow. I would, but I never did much of this the sitcom. Was, and we watched, but we were allowed to watch rated R movies with our parents. Was nine hundred two one zero kind of like a? Uh, uh, Dawson's Creek before Dawson's Creek? Yes, but more, but I think even more, uh, more? edgy. Edgy? More risque. What's the right word I'm looking for? I don't know. Promiscuous? Promiscuous. See, I, in my mind, 90210 is a mix of Dawson's Creek and Saved by the Bell. No. No? No. See, that's it. That's it. It makes sense in my brain because it was like <laughs> Melrose Place, too. I've never seen that. And Melrose that came Place. on right after. So I would just, that they call that a swing <laughs> show. So you like the show that you watched so much, kind of like when Netflix says, oh, because you watched this, we recommend these things. But when you mm -hmm. had cable television, the swing show that would come on would be something similar to the more popular show before mm. it, but would oftentimes encourage you to watch the next show, which obviously with Nielsen's ratings, they're clocking you and all that stuff. 
seeing it. Yeah. I, I studied this in school. Yeah, you seem to know your stuff. I do. Well, hello, Miss. I cu- uh, do movie reviews on my podcast. I don't do movie reviews on my podcast. Y'all talk about you don't movies. know anything about the podcast. Yes, I do. Y'all talk about movies all the time. No, that's not how it works. First of all, I'm not the co-host. I am a reoccurring guest. Excuse me? I have to be honest. Well, to me, from the objective eye, Derek, she's a co-host. The concept of the show is that Derek explains the entirety of a movie. Right. Like a whole movie to a person who hasn't seen the movie. So so it's his take on it, and he's essentially no, giving No, not his-, his take. He's like performing the movie. Okay. Like it takes about the same amount of time that it would to watch the movie. Now I feel like a jackass. To listen to the movie. Now I'm a jackass. But it's actually really crazy because a lot of people don't know that that's what it's about. They think it's a movie review podcast. So then when they listen to it, they're, they're like, wait, is this just, it's just just Philadelphia? Am I just listening to him do Siskel Philadelphia? and Ebert on a crack. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. He's very talented. Uh, well, he does it. He interacts. He in, uh, I didn't want to talk about you, Derek, on this podcast at all. Sorry. I I'll see you at yoga. I always talk about you, baby. We'll see you at yoga, Derek. Great job. Great form, by the way. I'm talking to him in the camera oh, right that's now. That's really can't. That's Derek in there. What up, DP? I see you, baby. I see you, baby. I see you sweating, shaking that. Derek takes it very seriously, the yoga. He does. Yes. So do you. Do I? I think we all do. We all hold each other to a higher standard. Yes. Uh, we have developed this thing thanks to Sam being the host of this. She essentially pioneered a group. For comedians to go shut the fuck up for an hour it's <laughs> so actually really I lovely i like I, I like comedians more when i'm not speaking to them and not in a comedian. yeah i feel like we have to engage with each other and talk about other things besides comedy well it's also nice because no one speaks and then afterwards everyone has the like the thrill of like maybe if you you know if you just killed on stage yeah but everyone feels that way yes. not like a couple of people <laughs> bro you sucked <laughs> you did not no everyone gets to everyone gets to kill and then you you go out and you're like wow that was awesome everyone's like that was awesome it is the nicest we will ever all be to each other oh yeah no one's jealous of anyone no or like oh i should have gotten up tonight and so and so got on this show and mm. exactly everyone's just sweaty and basking in the afterglow it's feeling nice. sensual maybe very buoyant. I love how our teacher always used that word. Ooh, she does. Looking buoyant. She does use words like that. So I'll say, oh, I take that. I'm buoyant on stage, Jessica. I'm limber. Did you notice that she started saying, she used to say, uh, the teacher in me recognizes the teacher in you. Oh. But lately she's been saying, the spirit in me oh. recognizes the spirit in you. That sounds like. I was like, oh. What's happening in her spiritual evolution that changed Wow, that? teacher to teach. And sh- some teachers say the student. Ah, uh, yeah, I've heard which that. Which means I'm above you. But teacher to teacher is cool. It was cool. She's cool. Do you Jessica say namaste L. at the end? I do. I don't, some people don't. Why not? I don't know. Maybe Doesn't that it just word. mean hello? I thought it was like aloha. Like, like, shaba- like, like shalom. Aloha, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is shalom like aloha? Shalom I thought shalom is, was peace. Shalom is hello. That makes sense because peace goodbye. can be like peace out, peace out. Secret oh, wow, society. I didn't know shalom was like that, like that kind of peace, like a like a groovy <laughs> shalom. <laughs> I thought shalom was more like a shalom. Like I think what? It, Do you, it definitely it's, it's, isn't it's, a cross. It's the more Catholic. <laughs> shalom is the Catholic part of uh, and House of Jews. Yeah. Yes. Did you watch that movie, the one with Lady Gaga, uh, the Gucci movie? No, is that good? She does this thing in it. She's Italian. She goes, I swear on the father and the son and the house of Gucci. Oh, and it's wow. so sexy. I love it. She killed. She looks like Liza she's Minnelli good. in that movie. She's a good actress. She is. What did I just see that she's going to play? Oh, she's going to be the new Harley Quinn. I don't know how I feel about that. What was wrong with? Uh... I don't know. Margot Robbie's. I like I think... Margot Robbie. I think maybe she's just done. You just get done. Oh, Margo's so... Well, she's filming the new Barbie movie with Ryan Gosling as Ken. I feel like, is it going to be dark and sadistic? Has to be, right? Like what it's like to really be plastic. They're only showing the the bright side of it. So there has to be a dark side, right? Yeah. I want to see the implosion of Mattel. Also, you have someone like Margot Robbie and um, 
Ryan Gosling doing it. They're not just going to do it if it's just cheesy. cheese factor. Yeah, there's no way. I forgot to look up the rating. There's a very controversial, uh, I really like that actress. I didn't know we were going to talk about movies so much or shows, but Anna de Armas. Who's kind of gone all over the place. I'm sorry. What? Anna de Armas, but I'm trying to say it, she's Armin. Cuban. She's a very beautiful girl. Um, she do I know is from? playing Marilyn Monroe, this Cuban woman. And it's supposed to be an NC-17 rated movie, which like I don't even know. Movie? Well, I What's guess NC-17. There's, there's a very graphic rape scene in it, but oh, I'm like, gross. I've seen that's on FX. That's, not, that's on yeah, but if F they show stuff, that's horrible. I don't know. Rape has to be like a higher, right? You have high standards for rape. Well, rape has to be a higher standard of like rating view. Like, cause R, you're like, okay, maybe there's some consensual sex. Maybe a woman has an orgasm. <gasps> <laughs> I mean, yeah, and I'm like, oh, wait a second. Maybe I do enjoy But then rape. what would be NC-17? Well, rape, right? Rape. Like, especially if you see it. Because sometimes people get raped, but it you don't see anything. I'm not saying when I say see it, I mean I don't need to see the... Like, it was in 90210 that Kelly Taylor got raped in an alley. That was do you a... see it? It's very... It's just alluded to. It's her face, guy. I mean, oh, it's, wow. it's really? they pretty... Did that? Yeah. Yo, that's nothing like Saved by the Bell. No, it is not. Dawson's <laughs> Creek. You definitely did not watch that show. Yeah, Dawson's is like puppy love compared to Dawson's Creek. Was there was like cocaine addiction on it? There I'm pretty was... sure they got into coke in Dawson's Creek. Did they? Nah. Where did they not. find it? On the creek, man. In the creek. Yeah. Coke in, in the, the creek. creek. Coke. Coke cr creek in the coke. It's a lot of. <laughs> I call it cock in the cave. I was you call it last... cock in the cave. The cro cock in the cave. Yeah, because it's like. So much LGBTQ stuff. The cock in the cave. I guess there is the a lot cock of in the cave stuff. Yeah. Every time I go in there, that bear's dressed up in something different. I like a bear. I know it's, it's a very fluid gender. I liked bear. it in Shane Gillis's uh, YouTube special. Yeah. With the bear on the stage. I thought it was great. Do we need to? We didn't tell them that. This is at Creek in the Cave. Creek uh, in the Cave is a, a comedy bear on club. Stage. Yes. <laughs> there's a huge. Who killed that bear? Definitely Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah. Rebecca's a bear. She should definitely She's a mama bear. say she killed that bear. She didn't because it like really solidifies your like. Rebecca had a post on Facebook today that said somebody was blaming her for Roe v. Wade. I'm like, why? Are you Jesus? That's a lot of power. Also, why would Jesus? You think Jesus would be? Yeah, he would be wanting to overturn that shit. Why would Jesus be a fan? I guess so. I mean, he was knocking up 13-year-old girls. Like, Wait, Jesus knocked up a 13-year-old? I'm pretty sure he did, didn't you, Jesus? Whoa. 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 Shal I thought Shalom was like, peace, we're cool. But I'm now just I'm talking Shalom about the truth. Like, hey, we're fighting with Jesus. I don't lie. Wow. I didn't know it was like that. The fundamentalist. I thought, was, I thought it was more like, you know, I'm Jewish, and that's okay, and you can be who you want to be, but you're like, no, we should have killed Jesus No, I twice. didn't say that. I didn't say that's we should have killed sounded, him. That's what it sounds like. I was just like. telling you what he was up to Why was before he, wait, he wait, died wait. on the cross. Who's this, who's this 13 year old that he was? He had multiple wives. Where did he get this information from? The Fundamentalist Latter-day Saints documentaries I've been watching. Wait, the Latter-day Saints it's crazy, have sway dude. over your shalom soul? No, I'm just like, I've been learning a lot. My soul is shalom for life. I have a shalomy soul. But you believe the Latter Day Saints over no the Pope? No, <laughs> the Pope. Who's the Pope? I don't. I don't know. Is he still alive? I actually, I'm not Catholic at all. So what I'm are just, you? Nothing. <laughs> You're nothing. Oh, uh, what do you mean? You're spiritual. You say Namaste at the end of yoga. You're something. why not? She says it to me. Yeah, it's like Aloha. It's <laughs> we're shalom. <laughs> okay. If you said aloha to me at the end of our yoga thing, I would say aloha back. <laughs> Hello, ha back. Uh, well, she says hello Yolo, to us at the beginning. Oh, if we said YOLO at the end Yolo, of ha. every yoga class, I would die. Every YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> That's what we should be saying at the end of yoga class. I get a little, like, apprehensive before. I mean, I like that downtime. When I know we want to chat a little bit when we get in there, but I try really hard not to talk to anyone because I feel it's disrespectful to the other people in the room. You know? I like to disrespect the other people in the room. That's not nice, Sammy. <laughs> hey, they're not a part of our group. They're not a part of our group. <laughs> Am I allowed to say the F word on here? Oh, 
Now at a perfect time, that's insert it. A quick little memo here at Ibble. No censorship. Fun fact reminder. Nice. 24-7, censor-free. That's the beauty of Ibble. So march on over to uh, Ibble and become an Ibbler. Say whatever words you want to say. Yes. Yes. Whatever you want. That's cool. All right. Game on. Fuck. <laughs> that's the best you got. Yeah, I guess that's the best I got. What's... What's the, what would you say is the worst thing you could say on a podcast? I need Derek here to say it for us. Oh, that's the worst thing you, that you could say. That I could say, of course. A white woman saying that? Yeah, I got in trouble for lip syncing the song the other day. Not in trouble, but I knew. Like, Wait, you're not allowed to lip sync it? See, who cares? I'm like, I don't miss a lyric. You're not allowed to sing it softly underneath your breath. I'm not even singing it softly. I am just <laughs> mouthing it, and Drake is fucking singing it, okay? okay. And I'm an impeccable lip syncer. Yeah, you and I don't miss a beat. Lip battles. I can't wait to do that oh show. Oh my god, you would lip be so sync good. battle, please. I'm begging you. Uh, yes. all I want in my life. You should do some kind of rap song. I, I but, love yeah. doing it's it's a way to get like the red leather yellow leather you know New York unique New York right before shows I'll just wrap some lyrics you just wrap some you just throw some out really some fast bars. lyrics just so I can be you know the tongue twisters and nice. be quick be quick what's quick, your go-to rap song um, that you you were just like I love know. bad bitches and my fucking problem whoa yes actually I could say that but I, I love do the whole thing now okay <laughs> Is it too much to ask? It's got four and bobs in it. Oh yeah, you can't say those. What I if you, you said a replacement? On. Make me think about all the rappers you've been leading Replacement word. On. Is that why? You know how like uh, Christians be saying like things that aren't, uh, you know, like my dad when we were growing up instead of saying shit, he'd say sugar shack. <laughs> <laughs> What's that for the n word? <laughs> it could be sugar shack. Sugar shack. That's more. It's just syllables. so fun to say. My mom said fudge <laughs> instead of fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which was cute. She'd be like, oh, fuck. And then I would be in the back seat being like, fuck? Is that what you meant to say, Mom? I used to say Fraggle Rock. I like add, I like longer things. No. Because sometimes it's not really about the word. It's about the exertion of like, ah. And so longer words, sayings, like, fuck your mother. You know, it's like, ah. Mother, motherfucking pussy yeah, shit, yeah. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I watched a TikTok. Watching little kids cuss is my favorite thing. It's if I'm ever sad, I put on this video of my best friend's little girl and she's in the back seat pissing off her Aussie father saying fuck over and over again. Oh yeah, like Australians and British people like all they don't care about their kids. And she the says same it in an Aussie that, accent. Yeah. So that's how my friend says, "Oh, she learned it from you." Cuz she says folk. Wow. So at one point she goes Fuck it into the camera. I have to play the video for you after. I'm like, you guys could be so viral right now. Neither one of you would have to work. Quit your job. Yeah, jobs. but it's, it's, it's that's a full time job becoming viral and maintaining that. I don't like, it's like that. You're word like, viral. I, I quit my job, and it's like, yeah, so that you can do social media for. Well, we saw it the other day. We got a, like kind of a front row seat to momagers at that audition we went to. Oh yeah, we did. That. I bumped into Sam at a really. Um, Kind big of, league audition. Oh, so Saturday? Big league. <laughs> was that Saturday? Here's little Sammy Lee just sitting here in the lobby. I said, I know that girl. And she looked like a goddess. She walked in oh. in a dress and it was all flowy and all her hair was kind of like curled. And, and I was like, that looks like Lauren. Lauren. It'd be crazy if it was her. And it was. And it was. <laughs> I had to check because I wanted to yell out to you from the sign in spot. I saw your name on the list, and I said, okay, that's definitely her. How many people do you think look like me in this town? Not a lot. It could be a lot, though. No, this no one Austin. looks like there's you. There's Mexicans. There's Mexicans. And there's uh, brown women. There's there's a lot, There's a representation here. Yeah. You should go to Houston. Have you been down to Houston? Yeah, they got Houston. everything. They got everyone. Total Mecca. They got it all. International love. Yeah. Very fun. Austin, get it together. You yeah. haven't come down to Houston to do any shows, have you? We went, I want to say back in the fall, we did Secret Group there. Did you like fun. it? Yeah. Yeah, I like Houston yeah. for shows. I liked it. Dallas, I'm trying to tap into more. I'll be in Dallas in a couple of weeks. Where are you, where are you performing in Dallas? At the House of Comedy. The House of Comedy. Yes, I used to live in that area. Oh, yeah. It's in Plano. Um, 
not the greatest name for a town. But uh, yes, I used to live literally in that same, off the same street where they put this new comedy club. So it'll be weird to, to go there. But hopefully I have a good turnout because I did go to college in Dallas. I guess I'm an educated woman. Um, really need a degree for stand-up comedy, everyone. Just take a note. You did uh, like communication stuff? Which means like nothing. No. Yes, sort of in a way. I was Specific. like, I can say that. That's broadcast so journalism, You're... bitch. Broadcast. Is this the same thing as communications. No, communications stuff? is vague. It's like I'm gonna go be a PR rep, and you know, oh, yeah. No, that's not. I wanted to be an anchor. Did yes. you? And you didn't anchor. I never did. I did at the for school. We had a new station set up, full like mimicked station of a real professional news station. And we had something called the daily update every day from six to 8 AM. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably be partying from the night before rolling in like, okay, let's do the fucking news. Oh, so what's your anchor voice? My anchor voice. Yeah. Is it like this or is it? Different? I would say it's like this. Okay. Yeah. Like if I handed you a news flash, I used to wear glasses because I don't have any paper. Before, <laughs> I know I need to do like the click, click on the desk, the click, click. Yes. Justin. This Justin Roe v. Way overturned. It's maddening out on 6th Street. People are pulling babies out constantly. No. What are they doing with the babies? Selling them. No! <laughs> Don't sell the babies! It's madness out there. It's chaos, I so tell you. So they're selling babies on 6th Street. They are. Gosh, this is a really it's, intense it's news a story. It's a hot commodity. I would totally skip past this. I'd be like, this is too intense for me. And then over here we have a cat pageant. <laughs> for all you six sad cat women who can't have babies because you can't afford to buy one or have one. And you're trying to be momagers for your cats. That is sad. Why why are what is happening in this I don't know. This universe? I feel like that was a story that Veronica Corningstone had to cover when she was trying to get better stories and they, they stuck her at the cat pageant. Wasn't that in the movie? Was it a cat pageant? I felt yeah. like it was like the dog. It was something pageant, stupid probably. and fluff and she was this is bullshit. This isn't newsworthy. I don't want to do this. I need give me the bigger stories. stories. Give me the panda. The panda was a big story. Who was talking to me about pandas the other day? It wasn't me. It's very hard for them to. Ever. They they are assholes about procreating. They know they're being watched. Who was saying this? God, but that makes them assholes because they don't want to procreate. Apparently, in front of there's videos of pandas, <laughs> and they you know they they're very not they're asexual. They don't want to fuck. Uh huh. But they're not like like they're the anti dolphin. Okay. Or we could even say the anti human, but. In line with animals. There's people who are asexual. Right. Do you know a lot? No, some. Some? Like a How is life for them? Easier, maybe. Probably complicated. You think more complicated? Wants, most people are dealing in money or sex, so. You I'm just dealing deal with... in jokes. <laughs> I just fuck both those things. Who wants money and sex? Who wants money and sex? I'm just a closeted asexual. No. Yeah, should join a group. Do I read a sexually join a group? <laughs> a sexual group. I don't think they want to be in a group. Yeah, for sure not. You want to just be like alone. be at home and read a book. God. Probably like, does book anything... about other people having sex. Right. Does anything <laughs> turn them on? I don't know. Uh, I only know a couple asexual people and most of them are old. Are they comedians? No. Oh, yes. I do know a comedian who's asexual. Has Does he, he or she or they or them? She talks about talk it on about stage. It. Okay. I don't know if I, I would guess, be curious. Is it weird to like out someone stuff if they said it say it on stage? No. Um, you know Ashley Overton? Yeah, she yeah, does yeah. talk about she that. She talks about it on stage. She's she just got engaged. She yeah. Lifetime of no sex ahead. So it's already she's I don't already think doing it means that you don't take you don't have any sex. I think it's more like what does oh, it's mean? not really my jam. It's not really my jam. Like I'll or, order it off the menu from time to time. Exactly. Like I live thing. and breathe pizza. Okay. But some people don't feel that way about pizza. Pizza greater than sex? Oh, 100%. Easily. Yeah. Especially good pizza, like the pizza you can't get in like this godforsaken city. Pizza is better than penis. Penis pizza. Yeah, penis. penis. I don't know. Pizza. Both at the same time? Huh? Pizza. Yeah. Penis is like, it's like, it's like if you put anchovies on a pizza, like, I don't really want this. You know? I don't do that. Yeah, that's how I feel about the penis. I pizza. get them out of my Caesar salad too. That was the whitest thing I've ever said. Oh, I like them in my Caesar salad. Oh, you'll do it in your Caesar, but not on your pizza. I'll do it on my pizza too. No, that's how much I no, like that's pizza. even more white. 
That's even more bougie. Is it? I'm pretty. I'm like uh, either extremely bougie or extremely trashy. Like yeah. one or the other. I don't. I trashy. don't sit in the middle very often. Like I like Domino's. I like Domino's too. Dirty Doms. Okay. Pineapple on the pizza. No. Is it the only option? Is no. It all I can Hawaiian. Have? That's the only option. Well, whatever. Throw their stuff, but just on the pizza in addition to other. I, am I just eating because it's the only thing to eat? Or is it, am I eating oh it my because God. I want it? You are making this more complicated no, than I someone who's asexual. I would, have, I would definitely not order it. Wait, what? what's complicated about asexuality? I've I already know. explained it. Okay, <laughs> see, I would think that it would make life less complicated. But I guess I'll have to get Ashley Overton on the podcast to talk about it. I think it would make yes. Yes. I think yes and no. Yeah? Yeah. It seems like it would be less of a hassle if it's just not, you're not super concerned with it. I think uh, the problem becomes less your own interior issues with sexuality and more how you present sexually to other people because some mm. people want to have sex even though you don't want to have sex. Yeah, that's called getting raped, isn't it? Yeah, but sometimes it's like yeah, uh, yeah. But sometimes there's an upside to rape. Like, everyone, it's not rape. It's sometimes it's like someone wants to have sex, and the other person wants like a really good massage, you know. And so they're like, "How about you give me a massage, and then I'll have sex with you?" Yes. See, that's you where, have that's to massage an me first. Where you don't necessarily want sex, but it's not rape. It that's how it's a negotiation. It's a negotiation. It's kind of like it's transactional. <laughs> It's like what? I would be a massage prostitute easily. You would. Like if you were you told Derek this? to pay me in massages for sex, done. But they have to be like really good massages. Do you like your feet? Oh yeah. Oh god. I'll take you to a good place. It's called I Foot Spa. It's off Riverside. I've seen that. I, it's oh. fabulous. They have a group on right now. Yes, Amy and Coco, what's up? They're my girls over there. They have the bars they hang from at the top. Oh, and they step all over <laughs> your back? Yeah. And she gets that. in there, dude. She does her kneecaps on my calves. Oh my god! Works her way down, little shimmy shimmy. That is the best massage I've ever had. Fuck all these other places and hotels with spas. They're three hundred dollars for forty five minutes. No, it's someone who walks. This is on like you? fifty bucks. Yeah. Oh wow. They are so, and all they do is just tell me how pretty I am the whole time. I they mean, do? it's the best thing in the world. That's... What? Yeah. I they want my hair, and they just you know, pet me and rub me. I think they want more from you than just. The massage. I think they no, want what I was tip. describing earlier. You're just giving the Are you tip. You sure? That's it. They're you just sure? very excited to see me always. Well, you must tip. Well, well. I used to go in there with with my boyfriend. We would get well, couples. It's so massages. crazy that they're like so nice. To the, is it a? Uh, is there? A, is it a big place or is it just? It's a couple... an open room. Yeah, where they have. But we would go into a private room for couples massages. Oh. Yes. What happens in the couples massages? Nothing. Oh, just, the just lots of rub downs. That's pretty much all I want. And my boyfriend, life. they would they are so strong, these women. Of course they are. I want to call them like the Black Widows, like the girl that eats a million hot dogs because they're just tiny little women, but they are epically strong. Mm -hmm. And they rub my boyfriend so hard. I mean, he just... He <laughs> farted? Yeah. That's so funny. Well, that's how you know you're really like black. And she goes like this, oh, big baby, big baby. <laughs> Cause he's groaning over there. Oh, like it's so painful because it's good pain. Yeah. And then she just is rubbing so hard, just that's amazing. <laughs> that's like a see, they must have that happen all the time. All the time. Especially if they're really I, good like I that. I would think they probably take it as uh, a compliment. Do you crack your back and stuff? I my back will crack. If I have a good sneeze, I'll crack my own yeah, back. Actually, not the sneeze. Oh, get it out, girl. No. Sneeze all over that mic. Do it. Okay. Give Never that better. next podcast no. some germs. I would never do that. <laughs> I, that's how I got COVID was from the creek in the cave. Oh, that makes sense. Everyone's like, I always do it too. I put in there the mic on their chin. So. I have it on video. Even Craig now, Fergola like... coughed on the mic trying to say my last name right before I came up on stage. Boom. Did he have COVID? We all did. He and I got it. Actually, no, not everyone got it in that green room that night. But yeah, I think everyone got it like right after Christmas last year. It feels like it was a huge wave. My mom told me in Houston, everyone's masking up again. Yeah, I've seen people. With what? Masks. It bums me out, man. I can't tell you how wonderful it was not to wear a mask on the plane. Oh, it's a dream, right? I mean, the way it used to be. But at the same time, I kind of miss the mask on the plane only because, you know, like you're kind of, you don't have really your own space on the plane. And if you're next to someone you don't know, something about wearing the mask almost makes me feel like I have 
my seat becomes my room. <laughs> And then also I like it because I kind of nod <laughs> off forward and then drool into the mass. So instead of the drool coming down my face, it collects in the mass and no one needs to know. You're just laying in your mouth drool. Yeah, yeah. But it's just between me and the mass. My mom just said that the other day. She said the, the drool thing? same thing. I, it's a drool. It's a drool it, pocket. It's great for that. It's a drool but catcher. any other instance, I, I don't want to have to wear the mask on the plane. I like the option. Well, that's the thing. I mean, and that's the whole point, right? Is just to have options. Just have options. We like our choice. options. We like choices. Yes. My face, my choice. I will breathe this way. You can breathe that way. Yeah. I would always poke holes in the paper mask so I had extra air. The planes are the cleanest places ever. After, I mean, they put in those purifying systems every three minutes when that air. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be funny to just like go to sleep, go to sleep, like in Batman? The oh, poisonous gas just yeah. gets you. Yeah. That's horrifying. They could definitely do that. They could do that. God. Yeah. How many pilots do you think just dream about doing stuff like that? Just mm -hmm. like killing everyone? I would think probably the flight attendants, yes, I use the PC word, would probably want to kill people more because pilots are happy in their little cockpit doing God knows what. You know, they're having their. Fun time. I don't think kids get to go. Fun time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Co-pilot, you know. You think that's what's happening? Now? I don't know. Wow. They're allowed you to take You have a lot of interesting thoughts. I don't you? You do. You know what? You've thought about things I've never considered before. There's a lot of time <laughs> where you're sitting on the plane and that door is shut up there. I'm like, wonder what they're doing in there. Because kinda... I'm pretty sure this plane can drive itself. Oh, yeah. 100% can. What are they doing in there? I kind of don't think planes are real. I think. We've already discovered space and time travel. Have we? A hundred percent. But they don't want to alarm the public. So they do this charade where we all get on the plane. We sit on the plane for two and a half hours. And really, you've just already, you, as soon as you walked on the plane, you were in your destination. <laughs> what the? You think I have crazy <laughs> thoughts. This is what I think about on the Sam, plane. where are we right now? Where do you think we are? I'm actually not certain. This doesn't, none of this seems real. This is the vortex. Touch me. Come on. Just show me how, let everyone see how much tanner you are than me. Show everyone. Yeah. There you are. Oh, wow. Oh, I gave you a high five in yoga the other day. You were doing a Oh, when we wild, did the wild, wild thing. I, that was wild fun. Thing. And I gave that you a little crazy. high five. I was really just Why trying to knock you, you down. Why weren't you wild thing? You, did you, I not? I was confused how you could be that way. Were did you, I hit you with my foot? Maybe it was your foot. That makes sense. I gave you a high five while you were wild thingy, but I was mainly just trying to like knock you off your balance, which was a total dick move. You know what though? It made me feel like exhilarated and connected with you. And I- Shalom. Took me a full, yeah, your Shalom is sneaky. Namaste. You're like the Loki of Shalom. Yeah. Like you're like a little bit of a, a deviant. I need to post my bat mitzvah pictures. So what's one with, more person. What's with the bat mitzvah picture? People don't think I'm a Jew. Oh, um, yeah. It's the blue eyes and the blonde hair and the, the, the Aryan like I'm the Aryan race. thing happening. Lebensborn, that's what they call it. I looked it up. Lebensborn child. That's what Hitler called the Aryan race. That's a German word for it. I'm so educated. Yeah. Thank you, Google. Well, if it's any, I mean, that's probably why you survived. Your, your Jewish family looked uh, I know. passing. I would have made the cut in World War II. He would have let me go. I could have been like a secret Jewish confidential informant. Saving the Jews. Oh, I'm time traveling right now. I'm there. It's happening. My hair Are is both still your time. parents Jewish? My dad is Jewish. My mother converted. I was like eight. Ah. So ah. she and I were ah. thrown into something called a mikvah. What's that? A mikvah is a hot tub. Oh, wow. Which is like the Jewish. We had the rabbi there. It was the rabbi's wife. Still very kinky. It's and a hot tub. we were naked. Does it have to be hot? Naked. Well, when you get baptized, we were like, I was baptized. I think I had a baptism when I was a baby. I don't know. I have was to ask my mom. My baptism wasn't hot. It was warm. It wasn't cold. Were there jets? It's a hot tub. It was a very beautiful, very beautiful ceremony. Okay, so they put you in there. Do they do the thing where they like they dunk you? We just got in it, and there was some prayers said, and you know, boom. My mom worked with the rabbi, and. She did a lot of hoop jumping for my dad, became a Jew. So you 
were you in there because you were going through another Jewish initiation at the same time, or did she need her child that was also yes Jewish in there? We were. I was in like, Hebrew school. Yeah. So studying for my bat mitzvah. What was the significance of you guys going in together? I don't know. I think maybe probably Bogo two for one. Yeah, maybe it was that. That makes the most. Let's sense. Let's just dunk them at the same time. That's part of the Jewish. We got another mikvah well, coming Boga. up. We got a bris in a minute. We got to <laughs> circumcise some little boys today. Just throw them in there together. But it's pre- it was like yeah, it was a nice. That's nice experience. I just thought, wow, these Jews are. Mm, this is not Catholic at all. I don't think. No. Mommy, it's like a, mommy and daughter in the hot tub together, naked. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Yeah, but it wasn't the. It wasn't the. Dippy. It was a female. It was the rabbi's wife was with us. Yes. I could, I usually tell the story on stage that it was the rabbi. Well, yeah, it's fine. Acting like the pope. Acting like a creepy priest. Yes, and now you must derobe and get in the hot tub together. Mother yeah, and daughter. Why is it that there were no rabbis that are uh, like pedophiles? Why, I you Googled think that, that it would recently. Be on both sides, it would happen. Right. Not no? the chosen ones. You don't Because they have so Hebrew stories. school. There's... Children, they're, they're around, they're available. I think because sex isn't restricted in the Jewish faith. That's probably it, you're That's right. why. The more you restrict people from things, the more fucked up they are. Yeah, because they... That's always been my uh, thesis. That makes more sense. My theology on the subject. Because you kind of... That's why the Mormons are so messed up. everything, yeah. I'm watching this show with Andrew Garfield called Under the Banner of Heaven because I watched the... Why is Andrew Garfield involved? He is in the show. Oh, it's like a, a tell. It's not a documentary. No, I watched a documentary because it's called Keep Sweet. Yeah. Keep Sweet. So creepy. Pray and obey. So this is about Utah, the Latter-day Saints. Uh, yeah. Like, I forgot what his name. Warren Jessup or something. Scary motherfucker. Yeah, and all the creepy stuff he was doing. And now then I'm basically watching a show that seems like it was based off of it. So made for television. Oh. I like Andrew Garfield. He's great in this. Yeah, it's a really good show. I can't wait to go yeah, watch it. binge it later tonight. I'm all, I don't know where I'm at. I never look at how many episodes there are because I don't want to know. No, you shouldn't know. Never. I just want to know, okay, when it ends and then I... I don't okay. want to know either. Derek's always looking ahead mm-mm, and then mm-mm. planning what we're going to watch next. I'm like, no. can we just finish this? Why do we have to... Sammy, Sammy Lee and I, Lynn, Lauren, Lynn, were supposed to have Netflix debuts. <laughs> that never happened. We're we're recovered now. We're, we're we're overcoming this hurdle. Yes. You've never been on Netflix? No. I have never been on Netflix. You slut. <laughs> Get off my pod. You've never been on Netflix? Shalom. Uh, Netflix is so last year, Shalom. <laughs> yeah. It's all about sex flicks. Uh no. I uh, that that was um yeah. A big deal in Austin for a moment. I always maintain that somebody snitched and told them that it was a show called 20 somethings. Somebody snitched and told. You might have heard of it. It yeah. was on the top 10 for a month. It was on the top 10. <laughs> Maybe longer. Yeah. We would have put it on in the number one slot if we were on it. Oh, yeah. It, it would have stayed on longer if Sam and I were on it. We were on it. You? I, I think they found out we weren't 20 something. I think that's what it was. Like, Somebody hey, told them how old they really uh, were. I'm just. And we got the boot. They don't really look like they're 20 something. <laughs> Well, as I mean, we they continue, look good. They look good. They, they look just good. don't look 20-something. Great skin. <laughs> you were an Instacart driver, weren't you? Yeah. Oh, dude. And that was funny because they weren't supposed to bring any more comics onto the show. And that girl who was originally casted, who was one of the castmates, called you out, right? When oh, you, like half when of them had seen me perform already. They're like, oh, my God, we love you. And then they repeated one of my jokes. And I was like, you have seen me perform. This is so embarrassing. Which joke was it? Oh, you know, the underwear to the side one. Oh, the I love classic, that joke. Classic Lopez. Um, <laughs> I love that joke. Uh, that's so great when people are recanting your jokes. It is, and then also horrifying. I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really a, so much an extrovert as I am an introvert. So it's sort of you're like, half and half. You're half breed. Yes, hybrid. I'm definitely hybrid, yeah. but there's something about someone saying your joke back to you in awe that just kind of makes me go, oof. I just love how it's you like got hearing outed. my voice on the on the recording. It's like, oh, hearing my voice on the like recording. Nails on a chalkboard, like, oh, who am I? Gross. 
I, I just thought I that was I... so funny because they said she told the show, oh, she's just an actor. They did We're not say that. saying she's a comic. Yeah. And then the cast is, oh, I love your comedy show. It, it was, was so the best. good. Like, it was what? awesome, she's but a awful. Comic. Yeah. And you just dropped some groceries off, right? I just dropped some groceries off. And then I had to <sighs> judge their pumpkins. What? Yeah, they were doing a jack o' lantern uh, carving, carving thing. contest. And it was the guys versus the girls. Of course. I think the Battle girls of the won. Sexes. Of course, they have to nowadays. That's a, but everyone everyone got a participation. And they trophy. told me to pick one. It didn't matter. Yeah, that's I, amazing. Also, so you, I could never really. This is the problem with filming with anything that's supposed to. So is like, this is a reality reality show. show is you don't realize when you're filming because you're like you're going to do this, but they're filming you kind of the whole time you're there. Right. So you forget like what part of it is reality and what part is just staged. Staged. Right. Well, it was kind of writing itself. I mean, they had those robo cams like in the houses and stuff. Apparently, Tim Dillon rented one of those houses while he was living in they're Austin. Nice houses. Yeah, they're very cool. Mm, they're cool. I never got to go see them. Uh, so yeah, uh, unseen footage. It'll be like I'll be like Prince one day, where all of these tapes, these magical tapes, were dug up from his mansion, and unseen footage will one day be released. Maybe. That, uh, yeah. Well, well, yeah. There were comics. Somethings. There were comics that got vaccinated for that show, thinking they were going to be on it. That would have not gotten vaccinated. <laughs> I'm like, you're going to be on Netflix. Do whatever it takes. I mean, that's how everyone felt. Go fuck a midget. Okay. Wow. You think that would be? I think they would rather fuck a midget than get vaccinated. Some people. I are would. So yeah. Well, I got vaccinated, so. But it'd be no. hard to find a midget that just was like I wanted know. to have sex with. I haven't also. seen one lately. It seems like a lot of work to get that together. Yeah. Sammy, so what kind of logistics. shows? What kind of shows do you have coming up? Uh, Tell people where they can find you. You can find me anywhere. Follow me on Instagram at Best Sam Lopez. She's the best. I'm the best. Uh, I'm performing all over Austin all the time, every day, all day. Uh, just follow me on Instagram. I put it in my stories. Um, what's coming up so shortly? When does this air? We'll get it out soon. Soon. Come to uh, July thirtieth. Okay. There is a show at the Vulcan. It's called Solid Comedy Show. It's hosted by Derek Poston, my boyfriend, and Asana Mod, my previous roommate, both friends of mine, great comedians. I will be on it. It's going to be cool. Okay. I was going to say, you are the be world's best girlfriend and friend to plug their show. Now, are you kidding? i just making sure you're on it. I'm on it, and also I'm on it. I'm on it, bitch. Yeah, bitch. And also, it's I mean, it's also Derek's show. So any uh, anything that is made off of it, I will be receiving my. You I'll know. be reaping the benefits. I'll be reaping the benefits. Spoiling my the tax. beans. <laughs> Spoiling and soiling the beans. When will you be on Spoil the Beans again? Uh soon. I'm actually gonna be spoiling a movie for Derek shortly. Okay. I can't reveal You're not gonna what say it what is it is because Derek doesn't know what so it is. So I will be a good friend and actually watch this episode. But I think it will also uh, come and support You should your show. watch the ones that uh, Derek does because he is, that's his thing. He's yeah. amazing at it. I'm, the ones I do are very, I, I do my best. I do my best. I do a lot of musicals. Normally. Best Sam Lopez, always doing her best. Always doing my best. That's all you can do. Yes, come find her at a show soon, y'all. And we're gonna make a fellow Ibbler out of you. I'm gonna ibble it out. She'll be best Sam Lopez on that. You could probably just get yeah, ibble me. Sam, ibble me, ibble me. This is that. Is that what they say? Riddle me, me that. This? Yeah, that's. I like that. We're always thinking of fun catchphrases for this. For ibble and bits is one. Ooh. Yep. But apparently, Bat City comedy is the one that uh, for the win that's because we are in fact in Bat City and it is not related to the bats and COVID. It is not because of Gotham. It is because of the uh, attraction I have not seen. We've not seen the bats under the bridge. No. It's the whole point of Austin. So the city doesn't do exist that? without the bats. Can we go sweat and melt in the heat just so I can see some bats fly out of the bridge? Yeah, it's really cool. And maybe some guano can fall from the sky. I Delicious fruit paste. Isn't it? Make a mask out of it. has something to do with. Oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking of the something else guano is their poop guano is i just learned that from ace Ventura part two thought, what's the thing guano. where it's like cat poop that a uh, that ate that turns into coffee it's like what? a coffee that yeah okay now you're really spoiling it's like beans. a coffee bean that <laughs> the cat ate. how
How weird is it that coffee is beans? Okay, now my thoughts are getting out of control. Find Sam at yeah, Best Sam sorry. Lopez on Instagram. She's also going to be on Ibble, probably under the same name. Even Definitely better. under the same name. I'm not very creative. Even better. And uh, we're going to go to hot yoga now and sweat it out so we can get our creative juices flowing and write better jokes. The best jokes. The most peaceful jokes. Jokes. So this has been another episode of The Juicy. My guest, Sam Lopez. Namaste. Namaste. Shalom. We'll Shalom. sign off now. Thank you so much. Thoughts and prayers.